Okay, this little video is about the uh, Golgi body, which is um, it's quite complicated, but only because it's part of the sort of making a protein story. If you look at the electron micrograph first, so this is a picture taken down an electron microscope, very you know, it's good resolution and magnification. You can see that we've got these double sort of tram lines but they're in a curve, it's like the, those trams are going round a corner. And that's one of the sort of key features to look for with Golgi body, that you're looking for curved stacks of cisterni. So these gaps in between the two lines, the two lines of membrane, are called cisterni, just like they are in endoplasmic reticulum of both sorts. The other thing is if they sort of look straight, which they may do in some electron micrographs, the other sort of dead giveaways, you've got all these little pale blobs um, that just appear to be little circles round, around and about and coming off each side of these. And these pale blobs are again membrane bound and they're vesicles. So a vesicle is just a little sphere that encloses something inside of a cell. So, looking for curved stacks of cisterni with vesicles coming off them. You don't really need to know the difference between the cis and the trans face. The cis face is generally uh, would be facing towards the nucleus um, and the endoplasmic reticulum. This is where the Golgi body is forming and this is where it's budding off all sorts of vesicles full of things. So that's what to look for in an electron micrograph. On a diagram, the, the Golgi body might not be quite as curved. So you can see on this diagram these cisterni look quite straight. Um, the main job of the, the main function of the uh, Golgi apparatus is to modify any proteins that have been made by the endoplasmic reticulum. Um, and to package it all up into little vesicles, which is why they're surrounded by vesicles, to do the function of the vesicle. So uh, that sort of complicates it a bit because you've got, as you can see, we've got three sorts of vesicle here. So relationships. The endoplasmic reticulum, studied with ribosomes, is where the proteins are actually made. So they're made here and they're modified there. To get there, they are packaged up into vesicles which bud off the endoplasmic reticulum, form these little spheres which then go and join and shed their contents into the Golgi apparatus. So actually at sort of one end on that cis face, the Golgi apparatus is continually sort of building up, forming new cisterni, and at the other end you're taking out vesicles, so those ve those bits of the, the trans face is kind of disappearing, it's being used up to make vesicles. So it's quite a dynamic little organelle in that these vesicles are joining together or coalescing, which is a lovely word, at the cis face, so they're forming a longer cisterne. As the vesicles are then budded off, transported to the next one, budded off, transported to the next one, budded off, transported to the next one, those proteins are being increasingly modified. Now that might be that they're being folded up into their final shape. So what's coming off here is the primary structure of the protein, a little line of a sequence of amino acids. But what's emerging on this side in these vesicles are fully formed folded proteins. Some of them have just been folded up. Some of them have uh, additional groups added to them. These are called prosthetic groups. They describe non-protein groups like carbohydrate. So for example, a glycoprotein, which is a protein joined to a carbohydrate, remembering glyco means carbohydrate, would come in as a protein here. We'd have some carbohydrate imported and those two things would be joined together inside the Golgi apparatus and then emerge on the other side. So, forming is from budded off, 
endoplasmic reticulum containing the proteins, coalescing, forming these curved cisternae, protein being modified. And then at the other end, you can see on the transface, we've got some vesicles budding off, containing the modified protein perhaps. So, the types of vesicles that we have budding off the Golgi body. Uh, we'll start with the middle one, secretory vesicles. So for example, if this cell was making an enzyme, perhaps, you'd have the primary structure coming in here, it being folded up into its globular 3D shape, perhaps having some groups removed or added, a few amino acids removed or added, modified in some way, being packaged up into a vesicle, the vesicle then moving towards the plasma membrane here, again fusing with it, so the membrane actually fuses, nothing crosses the membrane, and releases the contents to the outside of the cell where it would form its function. So secretory vesicles. Other things that you might find in a secretory vesicle might be a glycoprotein like mucus, uh, it's always secreted by cells. Our next sort of vesicle is um, a membrane renewal vesicle. So bits of membrane occasionally get to the sort of opposite of this and take things into the cell, particularly sorts of particles of food, particles of liquid. To stop the cell getting small, the Golgi apparatus makes new membrane and as the cell increases in size it will need new membrane added. You can see these little blue things here, these represent membrane proteins, again primary structure, the polypeptide chain coming off here, being modified in whatever way, perhaps the protein folded, perhaps joined to something else like a, a carbohydrate, the proteins then being inserted into the secretory vesicle membrane because the key thing that we want to do is add a bit more membrane in here so it's going to fuse and all that is going to be incorporated into the cell membrane. Now I've left lysosomes to the last because lysosomes are an organelle in their own right and again the story is pretty much the same. We bud off our primary structure protein coalescing on the cis face, being modified in whatever way and these lysosomes, the particular proteins that they contain are hydrolytic enzymes. So remember hydrolysis reactions are those breaking down reactions. These are the, um, they're going to be full of proteases and lipases and carbohydrases. Lysosomes then are the spherical membranes full of uh, digestive enzymes. Their job, as we'll see in a later video, is to digest stuff coming into the cell. So, just in summary then, Golgi apparatus, curved stacks of cisternae, main function, modification of proteins, main products, they make lysosomes, they make secretory vesicles which can move to the plasma membrane and release their contents and they add new membrane into the cell membrane.